most of you are finishing up or you're all the way done, I want you to sort your two shapes into two categories. Sorry, your ten shapes, these shapes that you've got. I want you to sort them into two categories. Those two categories are shapes that I know. You might know the name of them. And then shapes that I don't know the name of. Go ahead and start sorting those into two categories. Shapes that I do know the name of. Zach, put your pencil down. You're not writing anything. And shapes I do not know the name of. When you finish, give me a secret thumb, please. What were some shapes that you put in the I know the name of them category? These might be different than yours, and it's okay. Which shape did you know the name of? Huxley, come on up, grab a pen, and write the name inside a shape that you knew. Which shape did you know? Any color is fine. Just don't put your hand on it because it thinks it's the pen. The same shapes that you got. Yes, it is. It's the same paper. The exact same paper that you got is on the board. Are there any other shapes that you know? That you know their name? Hey, right, Kayla, what's one shape you know? You can write it in the shape. Yep. All right. Kayla knew that that shape was called an oval. Give me a B2 signal if you knew that was an oval. If you just remembered that it was an oval and you need to move it to the I know that pile, do that. Do that. Zach, what other shape you know? Come on up. Use a pen. Write the name in there. A triangle. Me too, Signal, if you found the triangle. Any other shapes you know? Colby, come on up. What shape do you know the name of? Put it in the shape, please. <laughs> that is a square. If you're wondering how that is a square, turn your head sideways. It is crooked, which makes it tricky. But if I turn my head sideways, you look sideways, but are you still you? Yes, you didn't become anything new just because I turned you sideways. So if you need to move that square, because you realize that you remembered, oh, yep, that is a square. I do know that shape. Put it in your no, I know this pile. Any other shapes you know the names of? Evelyn, come on up. Come on up. This is what I call it. Mm. Nope. We're not doing what you call it. I need the actual name of a shape. Heidi? I don't think this is how we would actually spell it. That's okay. But we can fix spelling. Mm. I forgot. Oh. Quadrilateral. Very close. You're missing a syllable. You just have quad lateral. You're missing the real part. But yeah, I'll take that. That can be called a quadrilateral. If you're not sure what that is, that is okay. Any others you think you know? Kaden? Mm -hmm. 
That is a pentagon. If you're not sure what a pentagon is, that's okay. We're going to talk about it. So the name of that shape is a pentagon. Now, some of you guys immediately knew that triangle was a triangle. And then you immediately knew that oval was an oval. What clues were you looking at? Because it didn't say, hello, I am an oval. So what clues were you looking at to remind you, oh, yeah, that's a triangle. Or that's definitely a square. What clues were you looking at? Zach, what were you looking at? But it didn't say try on there. <coughs> it just had a shape. What were you looking at? What clues were you looking at? Ryla, what clues were you looking at? Um, uh huh. I know that shape, like, I mean, oval and the circle, they have no sides. Ooh, what do you mean by they have no sides? Yeah, so Ryla knows, hey, some shapes have rounded sides. Some shapes have straight sides. Would that be really good to know if you're trying to find an oval? No. Does an oval have straight sides? No. No? Okay, well, what about that triangle? Because lots of shapes up there have straight sides. How did you know the triangle was a triangle? Stop eating paper. How did you know the triangle was a triangle? It's got straight sides, but so does a lot of shapes. Do the guess. How did you know you knew cut those shapes up, Carl? Mackenzie, how'd you know a triangle was a triangle? Oh, so the number of sides matters. So are you saying this one? Could not be a triangle. Is this one a triangle? No. no. Well, it looks like a triangle, kind of. Why is this not a triangle? You're right, its name is not triangle, but why is it not a triangle? It's got straight sides, so I know it's not an oval or a circle, but how do I know, Patricia and Tegan, it's not a triangle? Not a trick question. Deal? Because triangle has three sides. Triangles have three sides. How many does this shape have? Four. Oh, so the number of sides matters. It's kind of pointy, right? Does that mean it's a triangle? No. Triangles are pointy. So does pointiness matter? No. But straight sides matter. Number of sides matter. Anything else that you were looking for that gave you a clue? Yeah, Evelyn says, hey, sometimes I can look at how many points, we also call those corners, a shape has. How many corners does a triangle have? <coughs> if you don't know, go look at our triangle. Tegan? Three. Three? Could it be a triangle with six corners? Yes. yes. No. 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 Yes. No, you can make multiple triangles. So it's not going to be two triangles. It's going to be a different shape. Could it be a triangle with four corners? No. No, triangles have to have only three corners, so those corners matter. All right, make sure shapes back up. This time, we're going to split it into two categories, but we're going to pay close attention to those sides. So, on one side of your desk, you're going to give me shapes that have straight you do not need to write anything down. Sides. And then on the other side, you're going to give me shapes that do not 
have straight sides. I know that is tricky. You're going to have to make a decision. Go ahead and start sorting your sheet. Don't stack them where you can't see all your shapes. Spread them out into two separate piles. Please stop talking over me. You're going to have to make a decision. I know. I did that on purpose. I want you to make a decision. Give me a secret thumb when you have sorted your shapes. Count how many shapes you put in the straight size category and show me that number with your fingers. Alright, I see seven, six. Lots of sevens, lots of sixes. Nine. Ooh, show me with your fingers how many shapes you put in the not straight size category. I see a lot of fours. <laughs> Threes. All right, there seems to be at least one shape that some of you put in one side and some of you put in the other. And if I had to guess, it was probably the shape that looks like this. Where did you put that shape? Raise your hand and tell me. Did you put it on the straight side or the not straight side? Jalen, where would you put it? Not straight sides. That is where it goes. Why? Because it doesn't have straight sides. It has some, but are all of them straight? No. Nope. So if you have it on the other side, move it over. Some of you might have had some trickiness with the shape that looks like this. Where did you put that shape? Where did you put that shape? That? Not straight sides. Some of them are straight, but are all of them straight? No. Nope. What about the shape that looks like Looks like that. Where did that go? Where did that go? Kata? In the straight size category. Look at your shapes that you put in each category. Can you move any? Move them. Shape that looks like where would you put it? Where would you put that shape? Ariana, where'd you put that shape? In the not straight sides. Are there some straight sides? No. Maybe. Are all of them straight though? Kind nope, of. they are not kind all straight. No, they are not all straight. All right, mix up your shapes again. And you have one time. This time, we're going to sort our shapes into four categories. What do you think our categories could be? We're going to sort our shapes into four categories. What do you think our categories could be? Zach, what are you thinking? Okay, we could sort them by quadrilateral. Do you know what a quadrilateral is? What is it? Okay, it's a shape that has four square quadrilateral sides. Not square sides. Four corners. It does have four corners. Oh. So we could make a category that has shapes that have four straight sides. What else could our categories be? We'll have one that is the shapes with four straight sides. What else could our categories be? Deal? Okay, we don't know what that is. Not enough people know what that is, so we're not going to do that. 
And I said, what else could our categories be? Um, yeah, maybe we'll have a Miro. Great side. We need two more categories. What else can we make? Ready? Five straight sides. Five straight sides, sure. Anything else? What about that last category? Keegan? Um, well, I can't say less because I have also have zero. Oh. Zero is less than four straight sides. Hmm, what could be that last category? Okay. These are our four categories. Go ahead and sort your shapes. Ariana, come draw one of the shapes that you put in the four straight sides category. Come draw one of those shapes. Evelyn, come draw another shape that you put in the four straight sides category. All right, looks like Ariana picked the square in the four straight sides category. You should probably have that. <coughs> yeah, I would bring it with you. Colby, come put a shape that you put in the three straight sides category. I would bring the shape that you're going to draw with you. All right, Zach, come bring the shape that has five straight sides and draw in our category. Did you have any? Mm. You might want to look at your shapes again. Heidi, come put one for five straight sides in the category it belongs in. This one didn't belong in the category. Does it have five straight sides? No. Then it doesn't go in that category. It didn't go in any category. Well, then it doesn't go in the five straight sides category. That's what you're telling me. Did any shape go in the five straight sides? <laughs> no. Are you sure? Yes. I know of a shape that definitely should go in the five straight sides category. Hmm. Jalen, draw one that went in the zero. Bring that shape with you so you remember how to draw it. Macklin, bring a shape that we have not yet sorted and put it in the category it belongs in. Good, Jalen. Hmm. I think we have another shape that went in four straight sides. Does anyone know what other shape goes in four straight sides? Carl, come draw it. In four straight sides. I think we have some more in zero. Tegan, come draw the one that goes in zero straight sides. Bring your shape with you so you don't forget. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have two more shapes to sort. There's only eight shapes up here. Two more shapes to sort. These were tricky. Tricky. Joe, do you think you know where one of those shapes go? Okay, come put it up here.
Yes, that Pac-Man shape does go in zero straight sides. I know that some of those sides look straight. It's hard to make straight sides when some of them are curved. There is one that doesn't belong in any category. Find the one that doesn't belong in any category. Put it in your hand. Hold it up. Which shape does not belong in any category? Why? Why does that shape not belong in any category? Look at it. If you don't know, look at it. Why does it not go in any category, Mackenzie? It has six. It has six straight sides. Do I have a category for that? Can I just stick it in a different category? No. Tricky. Tricky. Go ahead and move your pieces to the top of your desk. I want you to get out your math notebook. Let's talk about this question. We just did some sorting. How did you decide what shapes went into which category? It's not a trick question. We just did some sorting. How did you decide? Kenzie, how did you decide? Okay, so Kenzie looked closely at the sides. It's really that simple. Each shape I'm writing your writing. The words you're going to see a lot to describe rules is called attributes. Give me a MeToo signal if you've ever seen that word attributes before. Okay, a couple of you. Nice. Attributes are just rules. Those are synonyms. They mean the same thing. Underneath this, draw a triangle. One of the very first shapes you learned. The very first one you learned. What would be the attributes or rules to be a triangle? got very specific rules. What are those rules? Carl, right, what's one rule to be a triangle? Uh, we have three straight lines. We have to have three straight you can use the word lines. I think the word size is a little more specific, but lines, that's fine. You have to have straight, three straight sides. I'm writing, you're writing. Are there any other rules? Any other rules? Madison? It has, has to have three corners. You cannot have a triangle that has 800 corners. In geometry, not really in third grade, we're not going to do this, but you will absolutely do this next year. 
you can measure the space of that corner. That measurement is called an angle. Have you ever heard that word angle? So if you hear someone talk about an angle, they're talking about this space <coughs> right in here. The space of that corner right on the inside. You can measure that. We are not measuring it in third grade. But sometimes you'll see corners and you might also see the word angles. Please make sure you're writing angles, not angels. We're not angels, just angles. That's with angles. Angels, G-E-L. Very similar, not the same thing. Are there any other rules to being a triangle? Are these rules to being a triangle? Then put your hand down. Any other rules to being a triangle? <laughs> rules to being a triangle? Call me. <coughs> that is not a rule to be a triangle. Nope. Not a rule to be a triangle. Any other rules to be a triangle? So these are our rules, our attributes. So is that a triangle? Yes. Does it follow the rules? Yes. Yeah? Then it's a triangle. What about a shape that looks like this? Pretend that's straight. Yes. Is that a triangle? Does it follow the rules? Yeah, it does. It's very hard to draw. Precisely. Is that a triangle? Yes. Does it follow the rules? Yes. So the reason why we have rules is so that even if a shape looks kind of weird, this looks kind of weird we can decide, oh, is it a whatever? Is it a triangle? So far, so good? Yeah. All right, Katie, what's your question? Next blank page. Now put your notebook on your desk, please. Oh, I'm gonna make that littler. What is a quadrilateral? That is your title on the next blank page. What is a quadrilateral? Now I will tell you in third grade shape plan, third grade geometry, we are gonna spend a lot of time talking about quadrilaterals. This is mostly what third grade's gonna focus on. What do you need? Is geometry about quadrilaterals? Yes, write this down. What is a quadrilateral? Now, there are some helper words in this shape name that give us a clue. The very beginning of this word, quad, underline it. <coughs> quad means four. You have a quadricep muscle. It is the big muscle right here on your leg. Guess how many parts it has? Four. Four. Tricep. Guess how many parts that has? Three. Because of that tri. So these are good language clues because a lot of these words came from Latin. These are Latin words, pieces of words, sit up, Tegan, that we're using to remind you the attributes or rules of a quadrilateral. So in order to be a quadrilateral, there are two rules. Maybe a third one if you count it. Yeah. The first rule to being a quadrilateral is it must have four 
straight sides. Very similar to our triangle, except instead of three, it has four. Very similar. <coughs> I need you to write. I did. On my desk. Wait, John, it's all on their lap and my there's one more rule to be a quadrilateral. Just like our triangle, it must have four corners, a.k.a. angles. You might see that word, so I want you to know that an angle is just talking about the corners. If I wrote it, you write it. Those are the only rules. You might have this one, which is really true for like any shape. No holes. What I mean by that is a shape that looks like this. Do you see there's a giant hole in that shape? It doesn't connect all the way. That is sad. Jalen is correct. Sometimes we hear this called a open shape. That's what the shape is that I just drew. That's called an open shape. We want a closed shape, aka a shape with no holes. We want all the sides to connect. So, no holes. We want a closed shape. We do not want an open shape or a shape where the lines don't all connect. Yes? What about one that like has a hole in the middle? Nope. Holes are re referencing the lines not connecting. That's all. We're not talking about donuts. Okay. Based on these rules, based on these attributes, let's draw some shapes. Let's draw some quadrilaterals. EX. EX stands for example. Draw a quadrilateral in your notebook. <coughs> Any quadrilateral that follows those rules. When you've done it, give me a thumbs up. All right, I see two friends, three friends, four friends. It is that a quadrilateral? Yes. Does it have four straight sides? Yes. Four corners? Yes. Is it close? Yes. It's a winner. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> four straight sides, four corners, no holes. That's quadrilateral. What about this shape? Yes. 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 But it doesn't look like the other one. Well, it's still in. Oh. Talk to your table group. How do those look so different, but you're telling me they're both quadrilaterals? <laughs> Zach and Ariana, go. How'd that happen? How did this happen? Those two shapes look very different, but you're telling me that they're both quadrilaterals? How? In what world? Carl, how? Because they both have four straight sides and four corners. And um, they have no open, uh, they have no open shape. Yeah. Do they both follow the rules? Yeah. Is it okay that they look different? Yeah. Yeah. What about this shape? Is that a quadrilateral? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How do you know? 
How do you know that's a quadrilateral? Macklin, how do we know that's a quadrilateral? Um, it has four sides. Is that it? Is that the only rule? No. No holes. No holes. It has four corners. Sounds like a quadrilateral to me. What about this shape? Mm, look at it. Decide in your head. Don't say it out loud. Do we think that shape is a quadrilateral? This is the part where you're looking at the rules. Looks very pointy. Is it a quadrilateral? Hmm. What do we think? Huxley, what do you think? Yes or no? You think yes. Who else thinks yes? Anyone think no? Well, it's kind of pointy. It might not be a quadrilateral. Okay, Huxley, what's your evidence for yes? It does have four straight sides. It has four corners. They're in weird places, but they are there. And it is closed. If it follows all those rules, is it a quadrilateral? No. Does that one look really crazy? Yes. I think so. That's not what I think of when I think of a quadrilateral. But is it a quadrilateral? Yeah. That is a shape. What would I call that shape? I would call that shape quadrilateral. That's the name of that shape. Look in your shapes. Look in your sort shapes. Find the quadrilaterals. The ones that you cut out, yep. Find the ones that are quadrilaterals and the ones that you cut out. Look for the rules if you're not sure. Yeah, you should have found three of them. Hey, one of them has another name. One of those has another name. Which one of those shapes has a different name? Because you didn't call it a quadrilateral when we first sorted it, you called it something else. Heidi? Uh, square. Square. Find your square. Wait, so is it a square or is it a quadrilateral? Uh, it is both. Just like your name is you, but you are also a third grader. That's still you. So a square can be called square. That's fine. It can also be called quadrilateral. That's fine. That is not wrong. Just like I can say Heidi, if I'm talking to Heidi, but I can also say third grader. Is that wrong? No. Still works. Colby, what's up?